chocolate pots a la Basingstoke. Zoot alors. So he's obviously brought some pots from a shop and put some chocolate in it. Maybe it's just that we're sitting in Basingstoke eating a chocolate pot. I think it's just that, I'm afraid. But knowing Chris, it'll be locally sourced, I'm sure. Jersey butter, um, local-ish, we'd say. Yeah, in between, obviously, France and ourselves, so, yeah, I'm still going to class it as local. If you say so. Perhaps the other ingredients will be from closer to home. Cream, it's uh, from Jersey. Yes, yeah, local. If you live in Jersey. Next, the main ingredient. Proper 85% cocoa chocolate, which is going to make the world a difference. That doesn't look locally sourced to me. Chocolate's from Peru. I'll give up. He adds the chocolate to the melted butter and cream, along with the egg yolks, then whisks. Aiming for a smooth consistency, all the chocolate melted. And how's that working out for you? I think I've overcooked the, uh, the cream too much. Bit of a schoolboy error, but we'll see what we can salvage from it. Perhaps a splash of brandy will save the day. That is very chocolatey. Oh, dear. Got a cunning plan? So we're going to sandwich it, try and sandwich it with a bit of milk, see what we can do with it. That's looking a bit more like it. I think we're back on. Game on. He spoons the mixture into pots, a.k.a. cups. Can't go put too much in, because it's very, very rich. It's all about the quality and the intense flavour. Oh, dear. Looks like they've split to me. Hope they set OK, as that's the food prep done. Yeah, everything's ready to go. It's going to be banging. And he's also got a banging dress code for tonight. It's all about the 90s. I'm not sure what they're going to bring to the party and what they'll be wearing. Worry about your outfit, I'd say. It's a 90s music scene. Is that uh, 1890s? So, Bach, Beethoven... <laughs> oh, very funny. Maybe I could just turn up wearing what I wore when I was four. Um, a baby grow with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on. <laughs> Hopefully, you can keep the good times rolling with your dessert. Oh, interesting pattern. Is that intentional? The cream split, so we're going to patch it up a bit. I'm sure they won't notice the difference. Not going to fill those little cups. OK, he pops on a couple of shop bought almond biscuits and it's good to go. Chocolate pot salad, basing stoke. Mmm. Beautiful, Chris. Where's the rest of it? Well, it's intense. It's... So, I personally don't do dark chocolate, mm. and by itself, it was too sharp for me. Yeah. But once I put it on the biscuit... Yeah. ..it sort of balanced, balanced out, out really nicely. The, the dark chocolate is quite overwhelming. OK, yeah. Um, <laughs> dessert was the only bit that really let me down. It was just really strong chocolate. I've got a special part of my body here which I call my pudding tummy which is reserved for puddings. You should get that looked at. It's still a bit empty. Potentially, I might have dropped a point here and there with dessert, uh, but I think everything else, yeah, will overtake that. We've come, we've dined, we've hung out. Are we going to see each other when the lights go down, yes or no? Yes. Yay. For such an eclectic mix of people, yes. I've already got a date in the diary set in mind. OK, well, the four of you enjoy hanging out, personally speaking. I'm done with a lot of you. <laughs> Jokes, babe. Are you actually? <laughs> Jokes, babe. Oh, okay. Come on. <laughs> Scores, please. Chris needs 33 to beat Mark. This has been my favourite night of the week. Chris can have an eight. I'm going to score Chris an eight. The food was good, but not my favourite. So, seven. Fantastic host. He's a great guy. And I'm going to score him. Whoa there, Adam. It's over to Chris to reveal the results. <laughs> Here we go. In fifth place, we have Adam. Yes! <laughs> I placed. That's all that matters. <laughs> In fourth place, we have Nicole. Yay! Well done. Yay! Well, Nicole. Strong. Third place, Izzy. Yay! Well done, Izzy. Yay! Well done. Well done. Thank you. Between myself and Mark. We have joint first. <gasps> Mark and Chris! Heads or tails for the lot, mate. Heads or tails for the lot. <laughs> Adam gave Chris a nine, giving him a score of 32. 
My mum's going to go mad. I owe her a grand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've placed, so I'm happy about that. Didn't get sixth place. Yeah, I gave it my best shot. At least I'm not Adam. Cheeky. <laughs> So the winners in the others. The winners in the others. Yes. I'd rather Chris won completely if I was to have a choice. <sighs> winners drinks, babes. Winners drinks. <laughs> to come joint winner is beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with it all. What can I say? Well happy with that. Five hundred pounds. Probably get a couple of haircuts out of that, and um, might treat myself to a nice pair of boots.